Welcome back. In this video, we're going to talk about the control of glycogen metabolism. Okay. Now, I want to do some quick review here. Remember that if I want to convert glycogen and break it down to glucose 1-phosphate monomers, that's through the enzyme glycogen phosphorylase. If I want to go the reverse direction and go from glucose 1-phosphate to glycogen, the anabolic direction, that's through the action of glycogen synthase. Okay? It turns out that these proteins, these enzymes, glycogen synthase and glycogen phosphorylase, are controlled. And they're actually controlled through their phosphorylation state. Okay? Let's talk about glycogen phosphorylase. This is the enzyme that makes glucose 1-phosphate. It depolymerizes glycogen. It turns out that glycogen phosphorylase is active when it's phosphorylated. Thus, you can see the plus sign. Okay, we're going to find out that, in fact, glycogen synthase, the other enzyme, is active when it's dephosphorylated. But let's talk about glycogen phosphorylase first. Glycogen phosphorylase is activated when it has a phosphate group attached. This has to be done by a kinase, and the specific name of the kinase is phosphorylase kinase, also called glycogen phosphorylase kinase. It turns out that two signaling molecules, glucagon and epinephrine, activate phosphorylase kinase. The way that they do that is through their biosignaling mechanisms, they tend to increase the concentration of cyclic AMP, or cyclic adenosine monophosphate. Cyclic AMP activates phosphorylase kinase, which phosphorylates glycogen phosphorylase and makes this enzyme active. On the flip side, a protein phosphatase, when that's active, that dephosphorylates glycogen phosphorylase and makes it inactive. That tends to be stimulated by insulin. The way I remember it is glycogen phosphorylase has to have a phosphate. The phosphorylase has to have a phosphate. Now for glycogen synthase, this is the enzyme that converts glucose 1-phosphate monomers into glycogen. It turns out glycogen synthase is more active in fact, let me do this in a different color. This enzyme is more active when it's dephosphorylated. Okay, so a different phosphorylation state of the cell. It turns out that to dephosphorylate, you need phosphatases activated, and these tend to be activated by insulin. So while glucagon and epinephrine activate glycogen phosphorylase, insulin indirectly activates glycogen synthase by promoting glycogen synthase dephosphorylation, meaning the phosphate from glycogen synthase is removed, thus activating glycogen synthase. Now we said glycogen phosphorylase was inactivated by dephosphorylation. Glycogen synthase is deactivated by phosphorylation. You can see here the negative sign means it's inactive, and that's done by phosphorylation. And the phosphorylation is going to be done ultimately by a protein kinase known as protein kinase A. Much like the kinase over here, glucagon and epinephrine both increase cyclic AMP through biosignaling, and that activates protein kinase A, which phosphorylates glycogen synthase, making it inactive. Let me give you a strategy to learning this that I like. I would just learn one of these, glycogen phosphorylase. I think this one's easier to remember because glycogen phosphorylase needs a phosphate. The phosphorylase needs to be phosphorylated to be active. If you remember, to be phosphorylated, a kinase needs to be active, and the phosphatases would need to be inactive. For glycogen synthase, everything is the opposite. When it's phosphorylated, it's inactive. So phosphatases would have to have net activity. Whereas in glycogen phosphorylases, the kinases would have to have net activity. So literally, if you sort of think, think of dividing a line right through this, they're basically, the sides are mirror images of each other. While glucagon and epinephrine activate glycogen phosphorylase the activation of kinases, insulin activates protein phosphatases, which activate glycogen synthase. Not to mention that the, the net direction of glycogen metabolism is the opposite also. Glycogen phosphorylase catalyzes the breakdown of glycogen, whereas glycogen synthase catalyzes the biosynthesis of glycogen. So hopefully this view of control of glycogen metabolism makes sense. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel for future videos and notifications. Thank you very much.